Okay, this is the tutorial for breaking down our radii component. Um, so, what we're going to do first is we're going to put down a base point. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base point in this location here. I'm going to start from this point here, and what I'm going to do is just draw this section of the part. So, I'm just going to draw around this section here, so I'm basically going to draw that particular component. These components are referenced away from that centre cross and that's where I'm going to start my journey on AutoCAD. So into AutoCAD, new, so just to remind yourself to set up your system, so I'm going to put everything into units, it's just going to change my precision into inches, okay and what I'm going to do is work out my center region so I'm just going to draw a X line okay and I'm in my construction layer one and two like so so my first is I need to put one in a circle of a diameter one inch 0.125 so I'm going to do that circle zero comma zero and do 1.125. Now it's asking me for the diameter, so before I hit enter, D for diameter 1.125. Okay, and it's gone really small, so I've just got to zoom in to find that particular item. The next circle, which is the outer one, which is 1.75. So again, circle 0, 0,0, D for diameter 1.750. Okay, and there's our circles for this first section. Next thing to do, okay, is then to look at the um, sausage or the isosceles kind of section. Now you get told from the center markings here to here is 2.312. Okay, and this is actually a circle. You can see by this section here, it's actually a radius circle around the whole way. So I'm gonna put that one in now. So circle, CI for circle, 0, 0, and this has got a radius this time, 2 point, I believe, 3, 1, 2. Okay, and that's my circle there. Now, what I'm going to do is just to make my visual view a bit easier, change them to a drawing. Okay, so I've got my construction set up here. Now I need to draw a line which is 40 degrees. Okay, which is in working on this section here now. 40 degrees, which will give me this line down here. That will then give me this center point and then this center point here. So back to X line, 0, 0, and I'm going to draw one 40 degrees. So you can see now um, on my left, I've got specific 3.5.01, and I've got if I do tab 40 in, that'll put my angle at 40 degrees. So I want to work from this centre point and then that centre point here. So I've got a radius around the outside of two lots of 0.875, which is again this line here and this line up here. And I've got a radius of 4.38, which is this radius here and then this radius here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my coordinate system to work from one set zero. It's going to work from this point first, so I'm going to line up my Y and my X coordinate, work from the circle tool. Okay, zero, zero. And our first one's going to be from that sign 0.875. My second one's going to be 0.438, so repeat that process again. 0.438, like so, and now I'm going to move my UCS or move my coordinate system again to this section here. Line up the X, line up the Y, and I'm just going to do a copy of that circle and that circle from the center point, like so. Again, I'm going to change my unit coordinate system back to the original, so W for weld, and it goes back to my normal zone. So what I now want to do is put in the blue parts which is this section here and this section 
kind of down here, which is all referenced away. Um, and actually this section here, which is all referenced from my center point again. So, into circle, 0, 0. Okay, bridge the gap there. Again, CI, 0, 0. And then last one, 0, 0. I would like so. Next thing to do is just trim the whole lot. So I'm just going to trim out that section there section there. What I can now do is just sort of highlight those ones and get rid of those. And now I can trim oh, everything in there. I'm also going to trim down there across the bottom section here and just fracturing out those parts there. I'm actually going to leave these ones in here because they can actually play a bigger role in a second. So what I'm going to do is move through here. Okay, so convert that into the drawing and um, this will come in a, a later part. So I'm just going to convert that back to my construction so I don't get confused. And then that's our isosceles part done. Next section I'm going to work on is I'm going to work on these circles up the top here. So I'm going to do this at all this in blue. So it's actually 1.875 away from the centre line and it's 0.7 away from the left. So what I'm going to do now is offset uh, 0.750 coming out and then 1.875. So repeat the process 1.875 running up. So that's this line here and this one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in another layer like so. And now what I'm going to do is turn my construction lines off and turn my drawing layers off so I'm just I'm not distracted by what's going on. So that's giving me this sort of point up here. Now you do so you have a move the coordinate system if you wish to make it easier and then we can just do circle tool Zero, zero, and then we're doing uh, diameter 1.65. Diameter, diameter 1.65. Circle. D for diameter 1.65. Oh, ah, okay, make sure you're in there. In the construction, which I'm actually meant to be my vision layer. 1.65, like so, and then we've got our inner one of 0.7. D 0.75A, I believe, yeah. Like so. So again, those can then go to drawing. Okay, we've got that factor bit in there. So we've got that little piece in there now as well. Now thing to do is from the back edge here. Okay, we've got 5.804. So it's from this back reference point here to give you the front reference point there. So that's what we're now going to work on. So again, just going to turn that one back on. Okay, going to offset now. Um, 2.312 which will give us our first location and then come back 5.84 and then do our off I think it's one inch one inch yeah So again, we're now working down here in this little section. Now, if it's easier, again, you might want to think about that line, this line, and that line going into uh, another layer. So I'm just going to turn off anything that gets a bit confusing. So 
I'm working on my dims now, so I need to basically now do uh, radius from the center here of seven, so circle. Um, and either you can pick the center or you can move the coordinate system up to you. Uh, okay, from the point again, I'm just gonna click it, so it's 4.437. Okay, copy from the center out to the side, escape. And now I've just got to trim. Trim everything out once I put the lines in, so quadrant to quadrant. So you just hit the space bar every time just to reload, make it quicker. So once you kind of got an area, you can then just come in and delete it after a while. Just got to line the lines up again. Like so. So now that's in a point we can now convert that to a drawing. Like so. So now I'm just going to turn those dimensions off. Okay, and what we have now is our section. So we have this section here, which I'm going to colour in green. Okay, with the red section and we have the blue section up here. Now what we have to do is just put all these radiuses and radii in. So the, before we can do that, we just need to put this last green one in here, which is again referenced from this center point. So it's 1.375. So I'm going to go back to UCS, go back to my world origin, circle, 0, 0. What I'm going to do is do radius of 1.375. Now I am in a dimensions layer, so I'm just going to open that one up. Convert that back to drawing. And then close the dimensions down. Oh, why does that not convert across? Convert that to dims. Drawing and then go to drawing layer and turn off my dims. Okay, so we have this kind of scenario now. So, what we're going to do is put in our radiuses. So, if I clear my canvas, oh, that's I'm going to just paste my, if I just untip that one second. Okay, so we're going to do this top curve first. It's a fillet of 0.625. So fillet, half a radius, 0.625. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to click this to this there. That's the first one. Repeat, bottom to middle. Okay, that's the first top two covered. Then we have one down here, which is again is 1.750. So fill or fulfill it, half a radius, 1.750. That'll come from this one down to this one. Okay, we are gonna have to put that line back in afterwards. The last one then is then just a tangent from this point up to this point. So line. Okay, you can lock on one point or So you can lock onto the quadrant, match up the tangent, okay, and then you can come back again and match up the tangent on the other side, like so, and then trim, and then anything left over is just delete. Last to do, put in the line back over, and there's our component that we've broken down into different sections.